hope that you're okay. I really hate my voice when I say that. I'll, I'm gonna try something else. <laughs> hi everyone. No, that's even more annoying. Just hi. Hi, hope that you're all okay. Hope that you are all doing amazing, that you're all well. There seems to be so much going around at the moment, doesn't there? I wasn't gonna do a video today, but I went shopping. So I've got just a normal grocery haul, but there's a couple of other bits I'd like to show you. Uh, so I'm just gonna get straight on with it. As usual, I'm gonna put all the price on the screen so that you can, if you're interested at all. There was supposed to be some um, nectar prices. So that I think that, Bella, do you mind? Sorry about that. But I'm gonna just let her out because I think that's what she wants. Come on then, Bells. She was in while I was shopping, you see, so she just had some more food and now she wants to go out. She'll probably cry again to come back in because that's what she does. Yeah, so Sainsbury's are supposed to be, sorry, I've got to doing like, um, you know what uh, Tesco's do with the club card prices? So you get a special price because you you have a savings scheme with them or whatever it is, ne next card. So anyway, I've got the app on my phone and I was having a look last night because I wasn't actually going to go to Sainsbury's. I thought, do you know what? I'm going to go to Tesco's or Asda's, just anywhere else. I just fancy to change. And so I was on my Nectar app and I was just having a look and they had a lot of offers. Obviously, they're tailored to the customer. So like our deodorant, sour cream, um, salsa, uh, cream slices. <laughs> there was just like good offers on... And like when I say about the deodorant, it's like 50p off and things like that. And it says, so all you have to do is either get one of their their guns. It has to be a smart shop. So either their gun or the app on your phone. I always use the app on my phone. Um, so anyway, I've gone around, done all my food shopping, um, buying those items. And when I've paid, there's no discount whatsoever. Not not one pence. So I've got to, to cut, first of all, I've got the car. And uh, I was just going to leave it. And then I thought, do you know what? No, I'm, that's really naughty. Because I would have gone somewhere else today because it's super expensive in there. So I went back in to customer service and the lady there, she was really lovely. She said, what will happen is they'll give you like a voucher. It will come up in your app for the money that you should have saved today. And I said, no, I, I'm not, yeah, I, I said, I, I have, I've got two little vouchers in there, which I forgot to use, which is like 34p and 32p or something. And I said, that's f fair enough. I said, but that's a bit naughty because it says in the terms and conditions that you get it um, as soon as you check out. Like, I should see those savings. I shouldn't have to go back to buy something to get that money back. Like that's, that's entrapment. <laughs> you're, you're, yeah, that's not the offer that, that that's pitched. So anyway, um, I asked to speak to manager. I was very polite about it. It was not her fault. It's not anyone's fault. It's just, you know, it's what it is. You know, I spoke to the manager and he said the exact same thing, a voucher will come off. And I said, I, I understand what you're saying and that's great, but what if I don't want to come back to Sainsbury's again? Like, what do I, I, I've missed out on that. That's not really fair. As a loyal customer, like, you know, I get that you're trying out this new system, but yeah, the prices are ridiculous at the moment for ev everywhere. So to save you know, a few pounds here and there actually does make a big difference. So, um, so anyway, he gave me, uh, he gave me a few quid cash, uh, because he just like, he quickly did a little quick tot up. I'm not, I wasn't really bothered about that. It's more the principle of it, but he said the voucher will come off of it anyway, but hey ho, that was my long winded story. <laughs> so just don't get mugged off, check your receipts, ladies. It's really annoying. So first up, I got a pizza. I like this pizza. It's gone up ridiculous amount. I think these pizzas were like one pound. They're one pound seventy five now. Honestly, you almost feel like, uh, how am I going to eat? <laughs> if they keep going up like this, how are people managing with the? You know, we're not talking a two, three pence. We're talking lots. Um. So their garlic bread was 175. I was like, this is getting ridiculous. So I went back to the fresh section and got these. They're not my favourite, but it's I'm not paying 175 for one pizza. 
like uh, garlic bread. So these were 70p. I'm not going to be a negative Nelly. I've got some fish fingers. The handy tab in the fridge. Uh, not in the fridge because that won't be any good. <laughs> the handy tab in the freezer. Sometimes I do love a fish finger sandwich. Um, and then other times I've got parcel being delivered. Yeah, hang on a minute. Yeah, that's addressed to one twenty, but I think it is yours. It is mine. All right, thank you very much. Are these the same? Oh. Okay, so I think I see what has happened here. So I ordered a um advent calendar uh from etsy and i ordered it on the 15th of november and i have not received it this is it okay so i messaged the lady to say because it said a thing come up on etsy to say that i could leave a review and i was thinking i can't leave a review i've not even got the item so anyway and then i thought oh it's that should be by now so I messaged her to say, hi, um, did you get a tracking number with your um, with the package? Because I've not received anything. And she said, no, she didn't. And she's been having a few issues. And I said, oh, right. I said, well, I haven't got it. And obviously, um, she said, what do you want me to do? And I said, um, well, I obviously I still want it. Um, is this the same thing again? Yeah. So I have got two now. I'll have to message her to see if she wants me to return one to her. So, yeah, so basically she said um, that she's been having a few issues. Could I wait till Friday and then she'll do, she'll send them out again. I said, oh, obviously, yeah, that's absolutely fine. As long as they do get here for, because obviously I want to start on the 1st of December. Um, so, yeah, she resent them. I didn't want a refund because I actually wanted them. Um, but, they, yeah, they've just arrived. Um... I feel I feel terrible, but what I've just noticed, I can't show you because it's got my dress on it. What I've just noticed is she's put the wrong number because it's it's got written on the box. It's got try this number. I think they must know that it's, that it's not them, which is nice of them. I wish I'd have opened it really. <laughs> That'd have been a nice little gift for them, wouldn't it? Uh, anyhow, it is what it is. So. Uh, You'll be seeing that in very, very soon, but I'll message her and let her know that it has arrived, had the wrong number. Well, I'm really close, sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. Anyway, back to my shopping haul. Saying, I think, I think I've finished with the fish fingers. Like having a fish finger sandwich, but also it's handy for the kids. If, they, if they're they hungry and they're over or whatever, just give them some quick. Picked up a bag of the Brussels sprouts. You know by now, me and Martin absolutely love our Brussels sprouts. Back of the baby carrots. Uh, kids like carrots, so again, it's a handy thing to have. We went out for a meal last night, and um, me and Jamie Lee had. Uh, sorry, I've got a sleep, not a sleep suit. I've got a sleep suit on. What donut? What's it called? A body suit, and it's. I feel like it's too low at the front, so I keep like hoisting it up. I'm going to end up with a wedgie. <laughs> sorry. Um, yeah, we had a turkey Christmas dinner, all the trimmings. It wasn't that nice, to be honest with you. It was very, very dry. Not The turkey was the only thing that wasn't dry. Everything was really, really dry. They used, like, frozen potatoes and, yeah, you could tell. Hey-ho. It was nice to get out. I've uh, got a loaf of bread. I'll probably put that in the freezer because I've still got half a loaf. Me and Martin don't eat that much. You know, it's only me and him. We don't eat half a loaf. Okay, toiletries. I've got the Herbal Essence. I've been having lots, lots of compliments about my hair, so this is obviously making a difference. Not my scalp, obviously that's still terrible, but um, yeah, that smells really nice as well. Uh, Dove deodorant, you know by now. And I would have got a different scent as well, but that was the club card. No, it wasn't a club card. That was the nectar price for that scent. And then, can you see that? It's got right glare on that. Sorry. That's Martin's one. 
Uh, this was on offer, not on the Nectar card, it was just on offer for everyone. Uh, the Imperial Leather Bath Soak. Um, this is the, I never know how to say this word, Bergamon, is it Bergamon? Is that how you say it? And sea salt. This one smells masculine, which is what I really like. Oh, love it. That's just, yeah, that's a bit of me, that is. I love a bubble bath, literally. Love it. Was absolutely desperate for washing up liquid. I haven't got any in my... That, that's what I'm that's what I'm at <gasps> it's like getting it's getting serious I hate you when I'm like that low on things uh picked up a bleach I only use bleach on my dish drainer because it's white um so I bleached that all out I don't know why it gets so dirty it's like the clean dishes go on there so I don't understand why it gets so dirty but honestly I'm forever cleaning it very weird um and then i picked up this was on offer as well uh i don't actually know what it smells like oh no you're kidding me you you guys are gonna actually find this hilarious the day i've had look the thing's missing to pump it down with <laughs> oh that's just i wonder if i've got one i don't think i have that's really annoyed me now I mean, it smells all right. It's not nothing special. <sighs> How annoying. Honestly. Do you know what? <sighs> it's like the other day when I was getting really stressed doing the Christmas decorations and I was stomping around the house, you know, and you're like rushing from here to there. And it always happens when I'm in a, in a funky mood. <laughs> my um trousers got caught on the door handle as i'm walking out and it pulled me back and you're like mad at the door <laughs> why does it always happen when you're really in a funk and it also sometimes happens when someone's there watching you so they kind of have a little snigger <laughs> right let's go with fridge stuff which is where did i put it oh it's here i got these because they were supposed to be on offer some cream slices. Got that for my love for tonight. Got us some of these. These are really tasty. Do you know what? Sometimes I think, oh, it's not going to fill me up, or it's not not going to satisfy my sweet sweet tooth. But these little pots, they are little pots of joy. They're nice. They do hit the spot nicely, and they were on offer as well. Um, I was trying to rein it in a bit today, but it's, you just can't. You can't rein it in. You can't. You f I think, oh, I'm going to save a few quid today. I'm going to cut. You, you just can't because the prices have gone up so much just on your basic stuff. I know I didn't need. That's the thing. You don't need these things. But then if you don't buy some sort of treaty things, then, you know, what is the point? I might as well get it while I still can. Uh, picked up a soup because I've got a bread mix so I'm going to make up a loaf of bread and have that one evening because um, I'm going to be doing vlogmas I don't know what my how crazy it's going to be like you guys are going to get so sick of me honestly every single day honestly are you sure like it's not too late to change your mind because I would get sick of me I'm not going to be negative like this <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to be like to be honest I'm just gonna yeah just it's just going to be a bit of me and I've got my advent calendar. I've got something so amazing to show you guys. Honestly, I I really, really was going to cry. Yeah, I'll explain. Anyway, I've got two of these. I've got to do nachos. We love having nachos. Like, um, when I say nachos, like they're proper loaded up. They're yum. Just fancied something like that. You know, a bit of flavouring, a bit of, yes jalapenos and stuff some sour cream to go with that as well run that space picked up some chicken mini fillets because i am doing uh my chicken fajita pasta thing martin likes that got some uh, mozzarella and cheddar uh, mix for the nachos i think I'm, was i supposed to just get mozzarella no, I think that is why I normally get them mixed. Sorry, I'm noticing the time's like, I'm taking forever. Some more butter. Did something just fall off of that? Oh, some more, woo! Trash in the joint. Some more orange juice. Mm. 
Got some bosan because my friend is coming over tomorrow. So I'm gonna make us some pasta. Got some peppers. I love it when it's all these colours. I love it. I need that for my fajita. Um pasta bake thing. Look at this tiny. I mean that's pathetic. They didn't have any other jalapenos. No for Martin anyway, so these are my ones. The ones with pineapple. I don't care what you say. This these are beautiful. Yum yum. Got those. I have to get these yellowy ones for that awesome pasta because it just tastes sweeter, nicer. And I've got those. They're cheaper to add to bulk it up. Then I've got this. This is what I'll use. Um, so my chicken fajita pasta bake. I'll use that in the. So I basically do like a fajita, but I have that because I was so dry. So have put some of that sauce in to like make it saucy. I like things to be saucy. I've got some of my rigatoni, my favourite. And I needed some more uh, spaghetti because I was running out. And I've got some nice uh, piper potatoes. I've got um, I've got a gam. Let me show you. I'll just show you. I got. I had one of these from Iceland um, the other day. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna do that for Sunday for Martin. I did get a bigger one as well. I don't know how much this was. I I want to say that it was twelve pounds. Quite expensive, twelve pound fifty for. A, but it's quite big. It's one point five. I don't know if that's gonna be big enough for Christmas Day. So me and Martin might have that for Boxing Day. It's just it's just me and Martin. But I could make like pies or something afterwards or a soup. Which I probably won't, we'll just probably whack it in some sandwiches or whatever. We're set to have all these great ideas. Picked up some baking potatoes because they were on offer. Um, I got a uh, tomato and bacon pasta bake. I'll just check I've got the right one then. Um, we had this the other night after I'd done the Christmas decorating. Um, Martin said, do you want, should I just order take out? I was like, no, 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 let's save it for the weekend. Um, I was like, I'll just do a quick pasta bake because it's dead quick to do that. Um, but I just, I chop up some onions um, to whack in with it and to sprinkle on top with the cheese. That's, that's me being a rebel. That's me <laughs> making it my own. Uh, picked up some more carrots for, honey roast carrots, we're absolutely loving those. And while the carrots are cheap, that's, you know, a nice little addition. Now these, I, I didn't really want to spend this because I don't know if they're going to be any, ni any nice, any good, or be nice. So they are the Frey Bentos Meaty Puds. So we, me and Martin absolutely love suet puddings, like that kind of, but we don't like steak and kidney. And that's the only flavour I've ever, ever seen. And then I saw that these ones are just steak. So I got two of these, but they were two pound each. My mum, she used to make um, this bacon and onion suet like thing. <laughs> I don't know what it was. Honestly, it was so, so yummy. It was not like, my favorite thing. And she used to make, um, when she'd make them, she'd make a few for me to put in my freezer. And honestly, <gasps> I just I love that suet I'm like I'm just destined to be a chunk aren't I because I just love all the things that you're not supposed to love but they're just so tasty but I just don't like steak and kidney so when I saw these I thought oh yes I just hope they're really nice I'm not you know I always get like a bit like they're in a tin are they going to be any good <laughs> stop being a fuss pot eh right I got I, I'll just show you one because I'm not lifting up five bottles of water. But I got some bottles of water. These were 17p, right? Um, a couple of months ago. They're now 34p. It's an absolute joke. It's just water. Okay, let's 
have a look. So, oh, I picked up these. These were on offer uh, for our Doritos, a hint of smoked paprika, but they were the larger, uh, yeah, 50% more than the other, the other size bags. These were on offer as well. Um, so, yeah, just picked up those to whack in the crisp basket. I've got these to put away for Christmas. I'm not buying tins of chocolate this year because, I don't know, just, I'm not bothered. But I got a couple of bags, didn't I, of um, Quality Street. And then these ones have got the whole nut, dairy milk and the, and the caramel. I think they were three pound. I'll put the price on anyway. I'm running out of space. Picked up a stuffing mix for dinner. Um, these were on offer as well, pound for seven. We love the timeouts, and I saw they did the orange ones. Well, that might be nice. Terry's chocolate orange, not Christmas for one of these. There's only 75p in Sainsbury's. Shock that they had something that was on a good offer. They've still got the Baileys for a £10, the litre bottle, by the way. Picked up these um, because I'm not going to lie, I like them. <laughs> <laughs> I, we got some for the kids and um, I had a couple packs as well and I was like, oh, they're really nice. And I got Martin five of his porridge for work because he was out. And then, because I was really peeved about the um, garlic bread, uh, not not far, just around the corner, There's I always forget that it's there. There's like um, a little parade of shops and they've got like a B&M food place um, it's, only, it's only really tiny um but i thought i'll pop into there i picked up these little wipes just to they're handy just to grab and wipe stuff down with you know <laughs> they're one pound 59 this was also one pound 59 a little fruit life love that just nice toasted a bit of butter yum um, the whole reason for the story was um, these were two for two pounds in there, so I got so I got a couple of those. Um, oh, the postman and the DBD man are having having words. And then these were two for a pound. These are delicious. I'm not even joking you. Like they're like, they're really really yummy. So that is what I got from there. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, and I got this. Biscoff uh, ice cream. It was 37p. Okay, that's going in my basket. We'll have that tonight. The date is this month, so it's fine. We'll have that tonight. Uh, okay, I'm going to stop you, put all this stuff away, and then show you the awesomeness. I've got some of the most... Oh, I've got two really amazing things to show you. Okay, hang on a minute. Okay, so I've popped all my shopping away. I had every intention of sharing this very, very special thing with you. Um, but I've decided to save it for the first day of Vlogmas because why not? It's appropriate for that. So, sorry. So yeah, I'm gonna share it, but I have got something. Oh, here it is. So I'm desperate to show you guys this because I want to put it on my tree so obviously it was my granddaughter's first birthday um on well it was yesterday but sunday she had her party and my family came it's so lovely to see them all and my mum bless her she said i've got a little something for you she just handed me this <laughs> one to kitchen roll and she said i watched your christmas um decorating video and she said well, i've bought you this so this is from their trip when they went to Barbados and she's bought this because she and she's she said to me now you've got a piece of me on your tree too <laughs> how adorable so I'm going to pop that on my tree I'm very very excited to do that I think it's really really sweet and what else is really really sweet is that my stepdad um popped out the other day um and she was being in those park where are you going where are you off to and then he came home and he had bought her a beauty advent calendar how adorable like she's not been feeling very well lately she's been suffering and 
um, he wanted to lift her spirits a little bit so he treated her like that and she was she was really made up about it so he definitely got some brownie points there that was a really really sweet thing um, I'm hoping that Martin's not going to watch my vlog before Thursday but I also picked him up this <laughs> what a jam it you can see just see my kitchen window for it it's just got such a glare there you go <laughs> um so you get in there the one of the santas one of the reindeers seven swiss milk chocolate napolitan tea, i don't know sorry nine uh lindor mini truffles and six milk chocolate snowdrops how cute so I'm going to pop that away and then tomorrow night, what day is it today? Tuesday. Tomorrow night I'll um, pop it up where he um, makes his coffee in the morning with a little note. And uh, yeah, so he can have a little, he won't eat it in the morning. He's not like me. <laughs> He'll eat it in the evening. But <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm going to love and leave you there. And I am super, super excited for Thursday, guys the first day of vlogmas and i'm sorry if you're going to get really sick and tired of me but you don't have to watch <laughs> but if you've got any suggestions of things you'd like to see in particular i'll do my best to accommodate that um but in the meanwhile i'll, I'll love and leave you as i hope that you're all doing amazing um remember that your life matters you're very important in this world and I get that this season isn't for everyone and some people are having a very, very tough time and just know that you're in my prayers and if you want, want specific prayer for anything, reach out. You know, um, there's I've got a whole army of people waiting to um, do that for you. So yeah, I'll love and leave you there. Have an amazing couple of days and I'll catch up with you in the comments. Lots and lots of love. God bless.